Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm super excited because I have got my Jeffree Star order that I made during the buy one, get one free um, palette sale he did over the weekend of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I'm super excited because these are two palettes I wanted for a while. So, like, that's all I got. I only got two palettes. I bought one, got one for free. I didn't, like, um, you know, like, go insane and get, like, a whole bunch. Um, I mean, I probably would have if I could, but, you know, I got what I could, and I was, I'm super excited. So, the first one I got is the Thirsty Palette. This is the one I paid for. So, I got the Thirsty Palette. I wanted it for a really long time, like, ever since he, like, came out with it. But I um, just never, like, got around to it, I guess. And then he discontinued it, and it was gone. And then he brought it back. So I was like, oh, sweet. So here's what the outer box looks like. It looks like it's got condensation on it, and it's like a kind of a bright metallic -y orange. And then this is what the actual one looks like. It also has the condensation on it, and it kind of looks more like a popsicle. I kind of wish, and it's like a lighter orange, I kind of wish the this carton, like the, the outer packaging, I wish was this color. Like I wish the palette was this color. But I love the palette. And, ooh. Here's what it looks like. I got this sticker on the mirror. Take that off. And then it's got the little plastic over the shadows and this is what it looks like it's so pretty now I really really like don't know how much I'm gonna use quench submerge and splash which is these three right here um, and also the color uh, bitch which is this bright ass one right here. I don't know, I might dip into that one a little bit, but I know I'm not really gonna dip into these three too much, but I really, really liked it because it's um, still pretty neutral. Like, obviously it's pretty neutral, but also I really thought these glitter ones in the middle were so super pretty. Um, they don't have a stamp in them, which I never really noticed before. I wonder if it's just because they're too soft or something to stamp. I am going to swatch these. I know usually I would show them off, um, talk about it a little bit, and then like do, a, do swatches in another video. But because I only just have the two palettes and nothing else, I'm going to go ahead and do it all at once. So I'll do them row by row. So going to start... Oh, okay. So, as always, his mats are so good. I love his mats. They always feel so nice. Like, always feel so good. Alright, so there's the first row. And this one, which I really... You can kind of see, it kind of matches my skin tone, um, but it's the color parched, parched, and then this one is Taste Buds, this one is Bitch, this one is Kumquat, and this one is Stroke Kumquat. Looks a little bit more orange than it does in the pan, I think, but I like it. Okay. Hold on. All right, and we're back. And we're back. I was just cleaning off my hand. So now this is going to be the middle glittery. Um, you know what? No. I'm going to do the glittery row last just in case it's hard to get off the hand. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this. is going to be the bottom row next. So just so you guys know, I'm doing them a little bit out of order this time.
All right then, so this is the bottom row. And this one right here is subtle and it's very pretty. I really like it. This yellow right here is quench. This blue is submerge and this kind of blue green is splash. And then this last one right here is drizzle. I really like them. Um, like I said, the three middle colors, the yellow, the blue, and the green are very pretty. I just personally don't know how much I'll use them, especially the yellow. I might be able to try to kind of work with the, bl the blue and the green one a little bit. The yellow one, I don't really see myself using it too much, but super pretty. Okay, so now we are going to do the middle glittery row. I decided to do that one last just in case um, so I could try to get it all off. Okie dokie. So. All right, I like how these feel. Oh my God. All right, I like how these feel. They're, they feel really, really nice. I really, really like them. They're a little gritty. Ooh, that one was a little bit chunky. Uh, one of them felt a little bit gritty and was a little chunky, but really they're not bad, I don't think. I know a lot of people were kind of talking about it when um, it first came out. No, they didn't really, they didn't really love this formula because this was a new formula, and I don't know if he kept. I don't know if he kept using it or not. Also, I when I swatched um, a couple of them, the pans felt a little wiggly in there, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. But here's that middle row. I think they are all stunningly gorgeous. Um, this one right here is Divine the Silver. This gold. It's filthy rich and it's super pretty. That one felt a little bit wiggly um, in my palette, like the pan was loose, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. This one is a lick and it might be mm, maybe my favorite. Snatched, which is kind of like a rose goldy color, which I really like. And then Plunge, this one right here. These three right here, the last three, are probably my favorite. Um, and then these two are also super duper pretty. So I am super excited for this. Okay, I really, really like this a lot. And I can't wait to try it out and do a look for you guys. I can guess already there will probably be some fallout with these, with the shimmer shades. And Filthy Rich, when I swatched it, did seem a little chunky. But the other ones were actually pretty nice, so maybe that was just that one. So we'll just have to see, and when I do a look with them, I'll let you guys know. And I will be back in one second, and I will show you the other palette I got. Alright, my hand is all clean, and I am just putting Thirsty back in its case. And now, on to the other palette I got which this is the one that I actually got for free. I got the Androgyny palette. Um, I always thought this one was really super pretty. Um, it's really, again, it's, it's a little bit on the more neutral side, obviously, especially for Jeffrey. But like at the time, I know for a while, these two were like the most neutral he got. Um, but this is what the case looks like it's Barbie pink and it looks kind of like snakeskin. I kind of wish that this um, packaging was the color of the box just because I feel it go a little bit better but I like the pink. I think it's really pretty and this was the second palette he ever made. The first one of course was Beauty Killer which I have no interest in getting but just so you guys know like I absolutely love how thin this thing is. Like it's it's decently long but it is so thin thirsty is also pretty thin it's a little bit thicker but still like i mean yeah i know it's in the box but you know thirsty's 
pretty thin too. I like that. I love his other packagings, like with like the trunks and everything, but they can be hard to store, so I really like this. But I mean, obviously, I'm sure you guys already know. But this is Androgyny. It's so pretty. Now, his first two palettes were only 10 pen palettes. And the shadows, though, are freaking humongous. Like, they are big. Like, like they're big. So I'm really excited. Really, really, really excited. So I'm going to swatch this. Okay, I'm going to do the top row. Oh, that shimmer. Ugh. The qual I just love the quality of his shadows. His shimmers are super buttery. His mattes are super buttery. I'm just probably going to go ahead and just do all 10 of them now. I just, I really, I can't get over how good a lot of these are. Here is all 10. Here is all 10 colors. I could have swatched them a little bit better. Um, oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so starting with this one. This is frosting and it is super pretty. This one, which you can, I can see it better in person. I think you can on camera. This is safe word. It's really, really nice. I think that'll be really good for a lot of stuff. And he even said on the video where he like revealed it and everything. Uh, Cause I remember when it came out, he said that this was a really good contour shade. And I actually know a couple people who do that, who use it for that. This color is charmed right here. And this one is Deja Vu. Deja Vu is super pretty. And then this is Dominatrix. This one right here is androgyny. This one is fetish. This is military. And then we got poison right here. And swallow is the last one. I don't know how much I'm going to use the colors poison and swallow. But everything else, I can see myself at least dipping into. And I might even try to dip into poison and swallow as well. Um, and give them a try. I have heard um, from like reviews and stuff that Poison and Swallow aren't the best colors, that they're a little bit patchy. Um, but overall, I'm really excited to have this palette because I don't know. It's just, it's one of those palettes that I would see it on the site and I'd be like, you know, I really like the colors. I really like the color story. I really like it. And I really think I'm going to enjoy, um, especially the top row. Um, but I really think I'm going to enjoy th these eyeshadows a lot. Same with Thirsty. I think I'm really going to enjoy um, really getting some use out of these. So I can't wait to do a look with this palette as well. And do a video for you guys. At least one on each palette. You know what I mean? How I usually do. Um, and you never know. Maybe I'll like these so much that I'll do like lots of videos on them. Like I have with Cremated. Cremated ended up being my favorite palette. And I've made like four or five videos on it alone. So. <laughs> Alright. So that is my palettes. Ouch. That I got from the buy one get one free. Sale that Jeffree Star had. And. I don't know if he's ever going to do that again, but I kind of hope he does because it was great and I could see myself getting a couple more palettes that I really wanted. Um, and just so you guys know, this one is $48 normally. This one is $45 normally. And with shipping and tax and everything else, to get them both with the buy one get one free, it costs $65, no, $64. Um, but according to my receipt, if 
the sale hadn't been going on, it would have cost me 109. So pretty good. So, all right. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.